The captains are now at the middle of the field. Now we're waiting for the referee, Mark Bright, to blow the whistle. Get this ball game underway. Smith is the kicker, the soccer-style kicker, and he boots it downfield. It is fumbled down there and finally bounces into the end zone where Casanova elects to down the ball. He was fumbled, first of all, by number one, Jimmy Ledoux, and it bounced into the end zone, and Tommy Casanova covered the ball. Notre Dame gets Patulski, Kadish, and Marks united up front. They've got Kelly Wright, Coleman, and Patton backing up the line. Jimmy Ellis, Crowdy, and Stepaniak completing the secondary for Notre Dame. LSU is out of the huddle with Buddy Lee at quarterback. And they flank out Jerry Kegley out wide to the right. In the slot to the right is Andy Hamilton. They line up in the eye formation. Here's the quarterback on the give now to his running back, Arthur Cantrell, running off left guard to the 25-yard line. And he's hauled down on the 25. In there for Notre Dame is Mike Crowdy to make the tackle. So it'll be second down and five to go now for the LSU Tigers. Out wide to the right again is Jerry Kegley to split in from Greenville, Mississippi. In the slot, Andy Hamilton, number 80 from Western Louisiana. Now the quarterback, Lee, rolling out the right. He looks, he throws deep, and it is caught on the 45-yard line by Andy Hamilton. And Hamilton is brought down on the Notre Dame 47-yard line. Lee getting great protection as he rolled out to the right. Straight in that moving pocket and let go for a 27-yard gain to the 48-yard line of Notre Dame where it's first and 10. They've got 8,000 rooters up here today, and you can hear them in the background. Here's the eye formation again. They split Hamilton out to the left. The top of the eye is Cantrell. Waiting for it is Lee again to give it off to Cantrell, and Cantrell is brought down right on the 46-yard line by Tim Kelly, the left outside linebacker of Notre Dame, who slipped away from his blocker and got him from behind and brought it down. Very quickly, the Bengals go to the air. They throw the football well, and this boy Andy Hamilton from Rushton, Louisiana, with a 26-yard gainer a moment ago, puts him down in Notre Dame territory, Van. Kegley to the left, flanked out to the right is Hamilton again. They're in the pro set this time and send Cantrell in motion. He takes the pitch. Nybert is trying to get to him, but he's blocked out of the play. But he is tackled, breaks another tackle, and finally is knocked out by Wright. And a sweep to the left. He went out of bounds right in front of the LSU bench, right around the neighborhood of the 41-yard line. Mike Crotty also in there, and they got a great block. In on Nighter, Crowdy is coming out. He was injured on the play, and Tom Eaton has gone in to replace him. And Stepaniak, Schlock is coming in now, and they're getting an extra defensive back in. Hamilton's out wide to the right. They're in the double wing formation now. Going back is Buddy Lee. He looks, he's in a little trouble. He's caught from behind and caught down to the 35-yard line by Tim Kelly. He broke through there that time for Notre Dame and brought him down. That brings up a fourth down. That brings up the fourth down with the ball on the 45-yard line of Notre Dame. And now Crotty is coming back in there again. He was shaken up, so he is coming back in. It'll be fourth down for LSU and about seven yards to go. So back in kick formation goes Wayne Dickinson. He's standing back on the 40. Gets his kick away, and it's a short kick off the side of his foot. It's taken on the 21-yard line. The fair catch is called for by Stepaniak, and so Notre Dame will take over on their own 21-yard line. They have a first down and 10 to go. That was a kick of only 24 yards. Then that was a very short punt. LSU intentionally punted that ball short. First down for the Irish at their 21, Ben. Now we're ready to go with Joe Theismann at quarterback for Notre Dame, and Theismann takes the ball, goes back to throw, throws a pass out to Denny Allen at the 20. He's at the 25. Allen fumbles the ball, and LSU has the football. On the 30-yard line, it was covered by Notre Dame, uh, rather by LSU as Denny Allen fumbled the ball right on the 31, and the LSU Tigers have it. Early recovered. Jim Early is the man as the ball popped out of the Irish receiver's hands after he'd made the grab and gained about four yards. LSU with a big break early in the football game. The Bayou Bengals have the ball. First down at the Notre Dame 31-yard line. The defense is back in for Notre Dame. Kegley to the left. High formation now for LSU. Hamilton is flanked out to the right. Lee now on a pitch back to Cantrell. Cantrell on the sweep is at the 25. He's down to the 21. And Ellis finally chases him out of bounds around the neighborhood of the 20-yard line of Notre Dame. We'll have to see where they mark the ball. There's no score. We have 12 and a half minutes of playing time remaining. 
Tommy Casanova has come into the backfield now, replacing Arthur Cantrell. Casanova, the most talked about player in years at LSU, 6'1", 191-pound junior from Crowley. It's second down, about a yard and a half to go. Hamilton to the right. And now the sweep goes to the left, and Casanova has the football, but flags are down, and Casanova is hauled down back on the 27-yard line by Cotty and Stepaniak. Everybody on that LSU team moved to the left. That's right, Van. They pursue beautifully. This uh, Irish defense is the kind of team that's fired up today. Let's go down to Bill Etherton for a moment. To the right now is Kegley. Notre Dame turned down the motion penalty, and it's third down, and Lee's in trouble. He's brought down back on the 34 yard line. As the Notre Dame defense, led by Petruski, went pouring through there and brought him down back on the 34 and a half yard line. The series originating on the 31, it's back on the 34 and a half, and it's fourth down coming up in 14 yards to go. And it is fourth down, and Dickinson is back in kick formation. Mike Crotty is going back now around the neighborhood of the 10-yard line. Dickinson is kicking against the wind. He gets a high pass from center, but gets his kick away. Crotty calls for the fair catch. It bounces into the end zone. Will be brought back out to the 20-yard line, a 34-yard kick. Greeny has put out a few yards to the right. Tom Gatewood is to the left. Theismann on a give now to DeWan, the halfback, and he's left right at the 20-yard line. Left down right at the 20-yard line, making the tackle for Q. The right backer from Gonzalez is brought down right on the 20. There's no score here in the first quarter. Second down and 10 to go. Mike, here's the eye formation. DeWan is flanked out to the right. Look to the left is Tom Gatewood and Theisman now is going back to throw. He looks downfield. He throws to DeWan at the 40-yard line. He is tackled at the 42-yard line. Theisman had great protection. Norsworthy and Burns made the tackle for LSU. Uh, and uh, it's a first down for the Fighting Irish on the 42-yard line. He gained 22 yards on the play. Mike Creaney was the man who made that possible band. The big tight end went down the sidelines, drew two defenders. Cutting into the middle was uh, the receiver making the grab. First down, Irish, they're 42. Here's Theismann on the give to DeWan. He stiff arms one man, but he's in trouble. He's brought down on the 40-yard line. Knocked all the way back to the 38-yard line. He lost a couple of yards. Jim Early and Mike Anderson are the two defensive men of LSU. Let's call the ball to 40 and make it uh, second down and 11. Tom Gatewood is flanked out to the left. The one is put out wide to the right. Eye formation. Here's Theismann rolling out to the right. He's looking. Theismann is going to run with the ball. Now he stops, runs, and he's brought, brought down on the 43. He had his receivers covered. He just couldn't get rid of the ball. He just kept sweeping to the right, staying behind his blockers, and finally had to tuck it under his arm and move to the 43. Arthur Davis and Anderson are the two men who made the stop for LSU on the 43. So it'll be a gain of a yard on the play. It'll be third down and nine. Child to the left now is Gullius in the eye formation. Creaney to the right. Gatewood in the slap to the left. Waiting for it is Joe Theismann. He's got third and nine. He gets great protection. He looks, he throws, and one of the linemen of LSU reached up and tipped the ball. And so that caused his pass to go around. That was Milliken. And that brings up the fourth down for Notre Dame and brings in the punter, Jim Yoder. In the punt formation goes Notre Dame with the line of scrimmage there, 43. Casanova's back in the deep spot for LSU. Jim Yoder back in kick formation. Burns is also back there. Burns is waiting for it, takes it on the 16. Burns goes wide, reverses his field, and starts up the middle. He breaks one tackle, but is brought down on the 26-yard line. That's a 41-yard kick on the part of Jim Yoder. And so LSU, the Tigers from Baton Rouge, will take over again with the ball on their own 26-yard line. Notre Dame getting their defensive unit in once more. We have nine minutes, 34 seconds of playing time remaining in the first quarter at South Bend, and there's no score, and it's been a battle so far. Wide to the right goes Hamilton. Split out to the left now is number three, Al Coffey. They're in the aisle formation, and waiting for it is the quarterback, Lee, and Lee on a pitch back to Cantrell, and Cantrell is knocked out of bounds. So Paniak over there hit him at the 26-yard line along with Bob Knighted the defensive right end of Notre Dame, and there'll be no gain on that play. They'll bring it right back to the 26-yard line where it will be second down and 10 to go for LSU. Outrained here all day yesterday. 
and 8,000 fans from LSU are jammed in here with the 60,000 at Notre Dame today. Coffee is flanked out wide to the right. Hamilton, who runs 100 and about 9-4, is in the slot to the right. Waiting for it is Buddy Lee. He's back to throw, gets great protection, throws a deep one to Hamilton at the 50. Hamilton brings it in right on the 50-yard line and goes out of bounds right in front of the Notre Dame bench and he gained 24 yards on the play. That's almost a replay of the uh, first action of the ball game, the second play of the ball game. The pass went to Hamilton. He made the grab. He went to the 48-yard line. He had a 26-yarder there on that one. Now he comes up with a 24-yarder. He's made two catches, Van. Andy Hamilton of Ruston, Louisiana for a total of 50 yards. Here we go again with the eye formation and two flankers again. Hamilton is to the right. Buddy Lee now pitches it back to Cantrell. Cantrell is hit right at the 50-yard line brought down by Mike Crotty. Mike Crotty tried to cut in over left tackle after taking the pitch back from the quarterback, Buddy Lee, who's from Zachary. He's a senior, 6'4", 205 pounds. So the ball is right back on the 50 again. Out of the huddle, they come with Hamilton to the right. It's second and 10 to go for LSU. There's no score in the first quarter. Now they go into a pro set. Now it's a double wing they finally wind up, and Lee takes it. He's going back to throw. The pressure's on. He fires. It's intercepted by Notre Dame. Sapaniak has the ball up to 40. Sapaniak is up to 45. He fights his way back to the 50-yard line, and he's dropped down there. Notre Dame has the football. First down and 10 is Sapaniak right at that. What a great block by Walt Petruski. Petruski made the block that broke it loose there. What a great block by Petoski. Stefaniak running it back. And for the first time this afternoon, the Fighting Irish have the ball at midfield. They've been playing with that football in their own backyard down around the 20. Now the offensive unit has first down of the midfield stride. Van? Feeney to the left. The one is flanked out to the right. We'll check on Denny Allen. Here's Gatewood on a give to Goulias, and Goulias is cracking off right guard down to the 47-yard line. He got about three yards on the play. Making the tackle was John Sage, number 73, from Houston, Texas. The ball is resting on the 47-yard line of LSU, so Notre Dame now in great field position. Eight minutes and 15 seconds of playing time remaining in the first quarter. It's Notre Dame nothing and LSU nothing. Gatewood is to the left. Creeney is flanked a few yards to the right. He's the tight end. It's the wishbone formation, and here's Theisman back to throw. Theisman is in trouble there. He runs away from him, though. He looks downfield, and he throws to Creeney at the 30. Creeney's at the 25, the 20. He's down to the 15. He's down to the 12-yard line. It's a first down for Notre Dame. What a great catch in the middle. Mike Creeney, the big tight end. He has caught a dozen passes this year for two touchdowns. And now he picks up the big yardage to the 13-yard line. 34 yards on that pass play. And believe me, Theismann hustling all the time, breaking away from would-be tacklers, found his man, made the strike. First down on the 13-yard line. Gatewood is to the right. Here's a pitch to Goulias. He's following bars. He's at the 10. He's down to the 5. He is inside the 5-yard line before he is called down. He got a great block that time from Bill Bars, the fullback. And they'll place the ball on the four-yard line. Will it be second down and just about a yard and a half to go for Notre Dame? This crowd is going wild here at South Bend, Indiana. A tremendous football game, and it's being broadcast around the world today on the American Forces Radio Network as across the nation by Mutual. Here's the power eye formation with Gatewood to the left. The give is to Dewan. He stopped at the three. He got exactly one yard, but he's trying to pick up that first down. He's got third down, and Al, I would say, about a half a yard to go. That's right, Van. Uh, Picou is the man from the right corner there. It is first down, Van. They measure it as the fourth first down of the ball game. The eye formation now, the power eye formation. Gatewood to the left. The give is to Dewan. Dewan, it fumbles the bear. And LSU has recovered the football on the five-yard line. LSU has recovered it. It was Picou, I believe, Al, who picked it up, and Milliken hit him. And who did you get? Piku. And wide to the left now goes uh, Hamilton. They're in the eye formation. And here is the give to Cantrell, the running back. And Cantrell tries the middle, gets up to about the six-yard line, possibly the seven. He got a couple of yards. And he was stopped by Mike Kadish and Wright. 
as they have recovered two fumbles of Notre Dame. The Irish down on the three-yard line and lost the football. Here's the power aisle formation with no flankers this time. Buddy Lee calling the signals, and he gives it off this time on the end of the line there to Hamilton, and Hamilton is smeared right at the six-yard line. In there to make the tackle was Kelly and big Greg Marks to stop him. Right on the five-yard line, they will mark it, and Walt Patulski in the tackle. That's going to bring up a third and eight, Van, and, uh, well, LSU's got their backs against the wall. I guess they're going to have to try to run it out and then kick it. They, they may go for the pass, so they're spreading. In the pro sub now, the two flankers set way out on the left. It's a draw play, and Cantrell is tackled by Patulski on the three-yard line. How about Walt Patulski? The big boy from Liverpool, New York, who has 32 tackles. Nine times he has tackled the runner with the ball behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of 70 yards. Dickinson is back in kick formation. Ellis is going back with Crowdy. They're up around the 35-yard line. The kick is away. He just barely got it away. It is bouncing around, and Ellis lets it go. It goes to the 45-yard line, to the 47, and finally rolls down at the 47-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 to go for Notre Dame, and so the Fighting Irish will have to do it over again. 43 yards on that kick against Dick, by Dickinson, and he kicked it against the wind. And they finally put it down. They put it on the 48-yard line. In case you just joined us, Notre Dame drove right down to the three-yard line and lost the ball on the fumble. Out of the huddle, they come now with Gatewood to the left. He is the only flanker. They are in the power eye formation with the one in the top of the eye. Waiting for his thighs when he goes back to throw. He looks. He throws the home run ball to Gatewood, and it's just off of the fingertips of the defensive back, Fred Burns, intended for Tom Gatewood. He had him deep, but he just couldn't get it to him. Both Mike Anderson and Buddy Mulligan of uh, LSU were in putting pressure on quarterback Joe Theismann. Here's the power eye again, and Theismann is going back to throw again. He looks, he throws it to the one. It's incomplete. Out on the left flat, it was incomplete. So that'll break it third down and 10 yards to go for Notre Dame as Joe Theismann. Incomplete on two passes. Joe Theismann is three out of six. He has uh, 66 yards so far. He moved his team down to the three, but they lost the ball on a fumble. Gulius to the left, Gatewood to the right, third and ten from the 48 of LSU. Theismann rolling to the right. He throws a sideliner to the one that's incomplete. And Theismann was wrecked by Sage. Pretty good. So that'll bring up the fourth down for Notre Dame. It'll bring Jim Yoder back in to do the kicking again for the Fighting Irish and Tommy to Casanova and Burns are going back in the double safety spot. This will be the second punt now for Notre Dame. Yoder standing back around the 40-yard line, gets his kick away, booms it high, and Burns takes it on the 10, hands it to Casanova. Casanova's running wide to the right, and he is upended by Gullius at the 17 or 18-yard line when they place it down. Gullius is the man who made the tackle for Notre Dame. Put it on the 18-yard line, make it first down and 10 to go for the LSU Titans. We've got four minutes and 21 seconds of playing time remaining. LSU has not had a touchdown scored by rushing in 11 straight games. They lead the nation in defense against rushing. Hamilton is flanked to the right. Coffee is back in there and flanked wide to the left in the eye formation and waiting for it is Buddy Lee. Lee on a give now to his running back in there, going right straight up the middle, and he is brought down after a couple of yards. Number 21, Walker is in there. That is Dell Walker from Baton Rouge. He's 5'11", 185-pound junior. Second down and five to go. Coffee is out. Kegley is back in. It's split in. And Kegley is flanked to the left. Hamilton is flanked out to the right in this eye formation with Buddy Lee calling the signals. He pitches it back to Cantrell. Cantrell gets a block. A flag is down. And in there, Buddy, along with linebacker Patton, to bring him down for Notre Dame. There was a flag on the play. Let's take a quick look here at Buddy Lee. He's attempted 109 passes, completed 58 for 852 yards and five touchdowns. It'll be clipping against LSU, which will move it back now. The way of rushing for this LSU team, Cantrell is the leading rusher. He has picked up 593 yards and 172 carries. He's averaged 3.4. Leading receiver is Hamilton, who's caught 31 passes. Here's a tough break now for LSU as they're getting a clipping penalty, which will move the ball all the way back to the nine-yard line. 
Wide to right is Kegley, and the slot is Hamilton. And Lee on again to Cantrell again. He is hit as he reaches the 10-yard line. Romero Petulski again for Notre Dame. Also in there was Kelly, number 42, and Jim Wright and Patton to make sure he didn't go any more than the 10 or 10 and a half yard line, where it'll be third down and about 19 yards to go for the LSU Tigers. Tight end in there is Michelson. He's in tight on the right side. They send two flankers wide to the left, Kegley and Hamilton. Cantrell with the football, breaks through the middle, comes up to about the 19 yard line, is brought down by Mike Crotty which will bring up a fourth down now and uh, nine yards to go for LSU. Coming out of there, Stepaniak, Eaton goes in. LSU has 20 yards and 14 carries so far in this first quarter. Give you an idea of the Notre Dame defense. Ellis is going back with Crotty. Dickinson is back in kick formation. Standing around the neighborhood of the five-yard line. Gets a perfect pass from center. Gets his kick away. Ellis is calling for the fair catch back on about the 43. There's a timeout with the score. Notre Dame nothing, LSU nothing. Here's a pitch from Joe Theismann to Dewan at the 45 to the 46 and tackled and brought down in there by Este. Este got him right on the 46-yard line, so it will be a gain of three on the play. Second down, seven yards to go for Notre Dame. The only flanker now is Gatewood, a few yards to the left. And here's Theismann. He's on the keeper this time. Dances into the line. Gets to about the line of scrimmage. Maybe a half a yard. Runs right into the linebacker, Mike Anderson, on the left side. And so there will be a gain only of a few inches by Joe Theismann, which makes it third down coming up in seven yards to go for Notre Dame. On the right side, flank wide is, uh, now he comes in a few yards, is the one. Gatewood is split out to the left. Here's Theismann going back to throw. He fires one out there over the head of DeWan. He had him in the open, but he just did not hit him. Well, that's the old drag pattern, Van. They sent the uh, tight end, Mike Creaney, down about 20 yards to the sidelines, and then they sent DeWan down about 10, dragging out of the backfield after they'd got the uh, tight end down deep. Casanova and Burns are deep for LSU. Here's the snap back to Yoder. Gets his kick away. It's a low spiral to Burns over his head. He misjudged the ball. Out of bounds on the three or four. There's a timeout on the field. The score LSU, nothing Notre Dame nothing. Ready to go now. It's LSU's ball from their own four-yard line. And up the middle with it goes Alan Shorey. And he's hit right at the five-yard line. He got a yard, a yard and a half maybe. And there to make the tackle for Notre Dame was Patton again from Santa Ana, California. They unpile him. He's on the six-yard line, so make it two gained by LSU. Burt Jones is in there at quarterback now for LSU, and Hamilton is flanked out wide to the right in this power eye formation, and the give is to uh, Chris Danton, who's in there at the running back position, 5'11", 188-pounder. Time running out here. we got about 25 seconds to go. Let's fall briefly. Check, hold it here, hold it, hold it. Notre Dame has called timeout. So there's the timeout on the field with a score LSU nothing and Notre Dame nothing. Ready to go now with Hamilton flanked out wide to the right. Jones is the quarterback now for LSU in the power eye formation. He gives it off again to Danton. And Danton running off left guard gets to the 15. It's a first down for LSU. And let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the mutual broadcasting system. This program is coming to you in Monroe Sound from WBBW-FM. Youngstown, Ohio. There's the whistle. That's the end of the first quarter with a score nothing. LSU, nothing. Notre Dame. Michigan and Ohio State are now tied at 3-3. LSU has the football here as we start play in the second quarter. They have it first down and 10 to go from their own 15-yard line. High formation, two flankers. Jones back to throw. Throws a sideline pattern over the head of the intended receiver, Hamilton. Andy Hamilton from Ruston, six foot three, 195 pound junior speedster in the LSU backfield, and the ball goes back to the 15 yard line where it'll be second down and 10 to go for the Tigers. Out of the huddle now, Joe Bears over the ball, Demary is the right guard, Elkins is the left guard, Alexander and Stewart are the tackles, Michelson is in there as the tight end. Here's the give now to the fullback, Bendis. Bendis running right straight ahead to about the 24 yard line before he is hauled down. He got great blocking up front, and Crotty finally brought him down. That's the first time today that Benglis has carried the ball. He's a 6-foot, 207-pound sophomore from Lake Charles. 
and he ripped right up the middle to about the 23 and a half yard line. Out of the huddle now comes LSU. Kegley is flanked out wide to the left. They're in the power eye formation with Burt Jones calling the signals. Oh, handoff to the running back this time, Banton, and Banton is blasted as he reaches the 22 yard line. The Notre Dame defense still headed by Petruski, met him right on the 22. Petruski took the man blocking him. It was a one on one block and just threw him into the runner. Beautiful block play there. The Tigers are back in punt formation. Wilkinson back to kick, and he gets a low spiral coming down here to Ellis, who takes it at the 45. Ellis is to the 50. Ellis is to about the 49 yard line. And it is in LSU territory, and Andy Hamilton is the man who brought him down. So Notre Dame now with the ball on the 49 and a half yard line of LSU. They have a first down and 10 to go, and this crowd starts to roar. Send Gatewood a few yards to the right. It's the power eye formation. Dewan is the top of the eye. Gullius is in there. Bars is in there. The give is to Gullius. Gullius going wide on the sweep to the 45 on a sweep around right in. And Cassio is the man who made the tackle there for LSU after a pickup of about four and a half yards. Let's call it five. Keep it even. Make it second down and five to go. You've got seven men on that line defensively for the Tigers. Here's Theisman going back to throw. Hits Gatewood at the 35-yard line, and Gatewood is thrown down by Tommy Casanova, and Casanova was the only man he had to beat to go all the way. That's the first catch of the day for Tom Gatewood, who is second in the nation in pass receiving. So far this year, Gatewood has caught 64 passes. He scored seven touchdowns, 974 yards. Ball on the 37-yard line of LSU. It's first and 10 to go now for Notre Dame. Gatewood is to the left. The give is to Bars, the fullback the first time today. He's carried the ball. He got one yard. He ran to Johnny Sage of Houston, Texas. Texas, the big tackle there of LSU on the left side. They'll mark that ball on the 36-yard line, make it second down and nine to go for Notre Dame. Darrell Dewan, who's flanked out wide to the right in the I formation. Theismann is rolling out to the right. He's looking for a receiver. He's still looking. He's in trouble. He runs away from one man, but he's going to be brought down way back on the 46-yard line by Arthur Davis, who had great pursuit on that play. He stayed with Theismann. He just couldn't run away from him. And finally brought him down way back on the Notre Dame 46-yard line. A great defensive play by Arthur Davis. Theismann lost 18 yards on the play. Third down, 26 yards to go for Notre Dame. Theismann staying in the pocket this time. He throws to Dewan. He's got it up the 38-yard line and tackled immediately. Darrell Dewan pulled it in, and Tommy Casanova, who's a two-way player for LSU, made the tackle on the 38-yard line. So that means it'll be fourth down, 11 yards to go, and Jim Yoder comes in to do the kicking for Notre Dame. 11 minutes and 25 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half. It's Notre Dame nothing and LSU nothing. Notre Dame has only four yards rushing. Yoder standing back on about the 47-yard line. Gets his kick away, booms it high. This one will bounce around and goes into the end zone. It'll be brought back out to the 20, a 38-yard kick. So it'll be first down and 10 to go now for LSU. They'll have the ball on their own 20. They firmly believe they have a great football team, and so far this afternoon we have seen they have just that. Al Coffey is flanked out to the left. Waiting for it now is the quarterback, Burt Jones, who's in there for LSU, and he's rolling out to the right, looking for a receiver, throws one, it's completed, right on the 30-yard line to Hamilton, and he's forced out of bounds by Ken Kelly, but it'll be a first down for LSU, the ball on the 31, 31-yard line. On the 31-yard line of LSU, 11 yards gained on the play, and the pass play from Burt Jones to Andy Hamilton, his flanker. So make it first and 10 to go for the LSU Tigers from their own 31-yard line with 11 minutes to play in the first half. Still no score. Coffee's wide to the left. Hamilton is split out to the right. They're in the double wing formation now with one setback. Jones calling the signals. Jones going back to throw. He looks downfield. He is in trouble. He dumps one off here in the left lap. It's completed out there to the tight end, Michelson. It's a broken play, but Michelson picked up yardage to the 37-yard line, and Toman made the tackle for Notre Dame on the 37, a gain of six yards on a broken play. Hey, Michelson actually was not uh, even a secondary receiver there. He had made his block. He had rolled off of the block, 
He was up at the 35-yard line. The quarterback was really hustling. Wide to right is Coffey, and the slot to the right is Hamilton, and the pro set now with the two setbacks. Jones keeping the ball, hides it on his hip. He's in trouble. He's knocked down back on the 30-yard line. In there, Mike Kadish for Notre Dame, along with Walt Petulski. Petulski has been particularly outstanding here in the first half. Greg Marks was in on that tackle hit. Maryland leads Virginia 7-0. Tennessee and Kentucky scoreless in the first quarter. North Carolina and Duke 7-7 tie first period. In the first quarter, Syracuse 14, Miami nothing. Coffee is flanked out to the left. Hamilton goes to the right. They're in the pro set now with the two setbacks. Binglis and Danton. Waiting for it now is the quarterback, Jones, and he's going back to throw. He's in trouble again, trying to get rid of that ball. And he's brought down, Doug Marks up top, brought him down on the 24-yard line. Knighter putting the pressure on along with Kadish and Petulski, and they bring him down back on the 24-yard line. So that will make it fourth down now for LSU, and the Notre Dame defense has been superb. LSU was trying to set up a screen then, Van, and then trying to set up a screen on this big defensive line of Notre Dame. You can't waste any time. You've got to do it in a hurry. Well, Kadish, Potulski, Greg Marks, Bob Knighted, all of them were in there. Back in kick formation is Dickinson. He gets his kick away. High spiral coming down to Crotty at the 40. He's at the 45, tries to go wide, and is dropped right on the 45-yard line. That's in Notre Dame territory, so it'll be first down and turn to go for Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish with the football on their own 45-yard line. They have it first down and turn to go from that point. Chiskowski is in at fullback for Notre Dame, and Bill Bars, who had gone on the field, is coming off. Eight minutes and 55 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half. Dewan is flanked out to the right. It's the double wing formation. Gatewood to the left. Chikowski with the football, and he is stopped right at the 47-yard line. He got two yards, that's all. Este and Sage, the two tackles in there to make the stop for LSU. Mississippi was the last team to score against them, so consequently they lead the nation in rushing defense. Wide to the right now is Gatewood. Waiting for it is the quarterback, Joe Theismann, and Theismann wheels once, throws on the sideline pattern, completes the pass at the 45-yard line, completed to Ed Goulias, who's bumped out of bounds immediately over there by Early, the right cornerback of LSU. Let's see where he stepped out now when they bring it in. It'll be around the 46-yard line. It will be in LSU territory, which means that they have third down and just about six inches to go. It's the power eye formation. The give now is to Goulias, and he didn't make it. He stopped right on the 46-yard line and a great defensive play by Johnny Sage. A great defensive play with the ball on the 46-yard line of LSU. Fourth down and a half a yard to go. The one is to the right. To the left is Gatewood. They're in a double wing formation. Chiskowski is the fullback. And Joe Theismann now gives it to Gale to the fullback, Chiskowski, and he did not make it, and LSU has the football. So Notre Dame gambled and lost as Chiskowski was hit by King before he had a chance to take a step. And so it'll be first down and 10 to go for the LSU Tigers. And they have the football on the 46-yard line of LSU. Coffey wide to the left, Hamilton split to the right. We'll check the quarterback. It's Lee, and he pitches back to Cantrell, who turns the corner. He's at the 50. He's at the 45, and he's finally knocked out of bounds after picking up a first down on the Notre Dame 42 by Crotty and Ellis. Let's go to the sidelines now and Bill Ethard. When the Irish offensive team came off the field a moment ago, Tom Pagna grabbed Sikowski and Cranny and gave them a long lecture because the Irish had just failed to make that first down. They're not very happy right now, and they're uh, trying to reassess their strategy. Back up to you. Coffee is wide to the left. Hamilton is still out to the right. No score in this ball game with seven and a half minutes to play in the first half. Here's uh, Buddy Lee giving to Cantrell on a trap play up the Middle East to the 35-yard line, running hard with that ball. Falcons and DeMary got some good blocking up there, and it took the linebackers, Kelly and Wright, to bring him down. The center, Jack Jobert from Lafayette, Louisiana, and the right guard, Mike DeMary of Lake Charles, the junior. Both of them doing a tremendous block there. Both of them doubling in there, getting Kadish. On the outside, Elkins uh, handled Greg Marks, and that opened the hole up the middle for the seven-yard gain. Coffey and Hamilton flanked to the right. The give is to Cantrell again. He comes right back with the same play, and he shoved all the way back to the 35 but they will allow the ball to about the 32 and a half yard line. So it will be third down and just about a half a yard to go for LSU. 
It's LSU nothing and Notre Dame nothing with six and a half minutes of playing time remaining in the first half here at South Bend, Indiana. Out of the huddle now and Coffey is flanked to the left. Coffey is the only flanker. They're in a very tight formation in the line. It's the power eye formation. And the give is to Cantrell and Cantrell has a first down to the 31 yard line. Drop down on the 31, Greg Marks hit him. He was hit by Kadish, and he got a first down and that's six for LSU, Notre Dame with five. On the 31 yard line, first down and 10 to go. So LSU deep in Notre Dame territory now. Hamilton is to the right. Coffey is deployed out to the left in the aisle formation. Now they split him out into a double wing formation. Waiting for it is Lee. Lee takes it, rolls out to the right. Looks for a receiver, can't find one open, throws one, it's batted down by Notre Dame. In there was Jim Wright to bat it down. It was thrown behind the intended receiver, Cantrell. Van, I can't begin to emphasize how quick this Charlie McClendon coach football team from LSU is. They react tremendously fast. Schlock is in there defensively, replacing a linebacker, Patton. High formation, and here's the quarterback trying to go wide, Lee, and he is belted pretty good as he reaches the 28-yard line on the keeper play, running off right tackle. Petulski and Ellis and Crotty and Schlock were the men who made the tackle for Notre Dame. They're going to place that ball on the 27 and a half. Let's call it the 28 and keep it even. Make it third down, coming up about six and a half yards to go for LSU. Over the ball now is the center, Jobert. They line up, a little confusing for a moment. Now they send a flanker out wide to the right. It's Coffee in the power eye formation. The flag is down. They took too much time. It'll be a delay in game on that. And a five-yard walk off against LSU. Hamilton going straight down, covered by Ellis. Here's the pass. It is incomplete intended for Coffee. Incomplete for Coffee. That brings up a fourth down situation now for LSU. They got about 11, 11 and a half yards to go. Mark Lumpkin, who has kicked six out of 13 field goals this year, 22 of 23 extra points, will a try from the 39. It'll be a 49-yard field goal. The kick is end over end, but it is short. There's a timeout on the field with a score. LSU nothing, Notre Dame nothing. to go now and Feisman on a handoff to Goulias up the middle he gets to the 30 yard line Feisman had passed to Gatewood for nine yards now it's a first down for Notre Dame as Goulias picks up the first down LSU now getting a change Nagel is coming back into the cornerback for LSU Joe Feisman sends Gatewood to the left Dewan to the right and Feisman throws to Gatewood he's got the ball at the 39 yard line and is hauled down by Tommy Casanova Casanova has been his shadow all afternoon. But that's three pass catches for Tom Gatewood. And they will mark the ball on the 39-yard line, a gain of nine yards on the play. It'll be second down and about a yard to go. We have three minutes and 55 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half. It's Notre Dame nothing and LSU nothing. Wide to the left is Gatewood. Feisman, eight out of 13 for 114 yards. He gives it to Goulias. Goulias going straight ahead to about the 43-yard line. Up the 43-yard line where he's hauled down by Este, the right tackle. And they may get the chain in here for a measurement. Now they're waving it ahead to the 42-yard line where it'll be first down and 10. Almost had to be, but because the ball, the series originated on the 30, and they were starting in with the chain, and they waved them off and made it a first and 10. It was a first down by two yards. Gatewood is wide to the right. Creeney has put out a few yards to the left in the power eye formation, and Theismann is going back to throw. He fires incomplete and is batted down by LSU. In there was Norsworthy, the safety man. It was intended for Mike Creedy, the tight end. The ball is on the 42-yard line. In case you joined us late, Notre Dame did get to the three-yard line but fumbled. DeWan is wide to the right. Creeney has put out wide to the left. They're in the eye formation. Gatewood is in the slot to the right, and back goes Joe Feisman to throw. Stays in the pocket and fires one to Gatewood. He's got it. He got the ball on the 46-and-a-half-yard line. And the official over there is indicating that Gatewood caught the ball out of bounds. So that will nullify the reception by Tom Gatewood as he caught it out of bounds. Third down and 10 to go for Notre Dame. 
The Irish back in the huddle again. Third down, 10 yards to go. They need to pick up the first down now to keep this drive alive. Wide to the right is Dewan. Gatewood is in the slot to the right. Keeney, Creeney, rather, is flanked out wide to the left, and back goes Theismann. He fires to Dewan at the 45. Dewan is down to the 42-yard line of LSU. It's a first down now for Notre Dame. Darrell Dewan has caught three passes today to make up for that fumble. And that's the same pattern they used before. They sent Creeney the tight end down deep. And they rolled Dewan out of the backfield. He rolled right down the sidelines and cut sharply into the middle. Made the catch. First down, Irish at LSU's 42-yard line. 16 yards on the play, Ben. Julius to the right. Gatewood to the left. Feisman going back to throw. He throws to Dewan. He has the ball. And he falls on the 45. He was just tripped there. One of the defensive men. Number 93 in there for LSU was Arthur Davis. Managed to get a hand on him back on the 45, so he lost three yards. Q, who was in there at the right backer, has gone out. Nagel is in there. Cornerback Casanova's in there, staying right with Tom Gatewood. Theismann is going back. The pass is thrown too low. He had Bill Bars in the middle, wide open, and couldn't hit him. Hitting and holding. Now, that's an awful hard line to run against when you're hitting and holding because it means the bodies are still there and the chance of being tackled is predominant. Look at this defense now. They're dropping back four linebackers. Back goes Thies, but he's in a little trouble, but he fires at the Gatewood. It's incomplete at the 30. Broken up in there by LSU's Norsworthy and Burns. Sage and Este were putting the pressure on Joe Theismann. So that brings up a fourth down for Notre Dame and 13 yards to go with the ball on the LSU 45-yard line with two minutes and three seconds of playing time remaining. Steve Bouches is in there to do the centering and the snap back and the kick is away. A good high spiral. They'll let this one go and it goes into the end zone. 45 yards. So there's a timeout on the field with the score LSU nothing, Notre Dame nothing. He gives it off. Buddy Lee getting off here to his halfback, Danton, and Danton running off left tackle to the 26-yard line. And he's hauled down after a six-yard gain. Julius has been running well with the ball today on his carries. Bars they have not used very much. Shuskowski was in there for a couple of plays, but this LSU defense has been tough. For LSU, it's second down and four yards to go. And the give now to the fullback, trying the middle, getting to the 29-yard line, and Neider is in on the tackle. Running from the fullback position now is Alan Shorey. Shorey is 5'9", 180-pound junior from Ruston, Louisiana. Michelson, the tight end, has gone out. Out of the huddle. To the left now is Hamilton. He is the only flanker. Waiting for it is the quarterback, Buddy Lee. And Lee pitches it back to Hamilton on the end around. And Hamilton is trying to reverse his field, but he's going to be held down by Ralph Kapuski. Roll back on the 24-yard line, and what a defensive play Kutulski made on the end around. Yes, he did, Van, and he did a great uh, job of handling Charlie Stewart, the tackle of LSU. Stewart went out to block him. Let's go down to the sidelines now. Whoop. No? All right. There's a timeout on the field with a score LSU nothing and Notre Dame nothing. Now we're ready to go, and it's kick formation, and Dickinson almost had the kick blocked that time. Ball bounces around, gets a good LSU bounce, is still rolling all the way down to the 30, down to the 29-yard line. What a kick he got away, and Nider almost blocked the kick. It traveled 47 yards. It'll be first down and 10 to go for Notre Dame, and the ball is on the 23, tw check at 29-yard line of Notre Dame. First down and 10 to go and the Irish with time for a couple of plays. And the give, the fake to give to Dewan and passed out here to Gatewood and Gatewood is brought down on the 26 yard line. Losing three yards on the play. Making the tackle was king of LSU. So he lost on the play back to the 26 yard line. Notre Dame calling the time. We have only eight seconds to go and let's pause briefly for station identification. Denny Allen is uh let's check he did not go in there that's parker in there now in that backfield replacing dewan and thiesman on the keeper goes up the middle to about the 34 yard line the quarterback sneak and they stopped the clock with exactly one second of playing time remaining notre dame stops the clock 
scores LSU nothing and Notre Dame nothing here in the first half with only one second remaining. But of course, once they start the play, it will have to be completed. Time for this one play, and Feisman on the draw play to Parker. Parker gets a block. He's at the 45 and comes in up to the 47-yard line, and the gun goes off. That's the end of the first half, and the score LSU nothing, Notre Dame nothing. The student body is out there on the field right now, forming an alley all the way from the goalposts at the north end of the field to the Notre Dame bench and waiting for the Irish to come back on. Here they come with their gold helmets, blue jerseys, gold trousers. Listen, that chair go up as Notre Dame comes back for the second half. LSU will be back on the field in a moment, and in just a moment, we'll have the kickoff for the second half. Waiting for Mark Bright, the referee's whistle. There it is, and Lumpkin moves forward, and here's the boot. Good high end over end kick. It's coming down to the one at the 10, the 15, the 20, the 25, the 30, the 31. He's brought down on the 31-yard line. Darrell Dewan brought down by Mike Doyle, number 91 of LSU. They get first down and 10 to go now to the Fighting Irish. They have the ball on their own 31-yard line. They have not been able to score against LSU, and LSU, consequently, has not been able to score against Notre Dame. Denny Allen is in there now, and he's flanked out wide to the right. Goulias in the slot to the left. Gatewood is flanked out to the left. Creeney's the tight end. Joe Feisman rolling out to the left. There's a flag down, and Feisman throws the Gatewood, and it's just kicked out of his hand. Knocked out of his hand by Tommy Casanova, but there was a flag down back here at the line of scrimmage. And the preliminary indication is the penalty will be against Notre Dame. That's right, Van. It appears that it will be against Notre Dame. And the officials have made the indication now. Illegal use of the hands by Notre Dame. Here's the eye formation now with Gatewood in the slot to the left. Back goes Theismann. He's rolling out the left. He's going to run with the football. He's at the 15. He comes all the way back to the 19-yard line before he's brought down. Joe Theismann getting six yards on the play. Tackle was made by Craig Burns along with Milliken, the defensive right end. The series of downs originated on the 31-yard line. The ball is on the 19-yard line. And it's second down and about 22 yards to go. Gatewood is flanked out to the right. Denny Allen in the slot to the right. Queenie the tight end on the left side. Weisman is going back to throw. He sets up. He hits Gatewood at the 31-yard line, which gets it back to the original line of scrimmage. But hold it. They're ruling it a track football. It is incomplete. It is incomplete. And they have whistled it back. And they're bringing it back again to the 19-yard line and setting it down and ruling it that Gatewood trapped the football. Third down will be coming up. Third and 22. Denny Allen is out wide to the right. They split Creeney out wide to the left. In the slot to the right is Gatewood in the I formation. And back goes Joe Theismann setting up in the pocket. He's going to be hit from behind and brought down. Back on the 12-yard line by Milliken, who slipped in behind the blockers and came in the back door and brought him down. Joe waited a little too long, Van, there. I realized that he was just sitting there waiting too long. Watch Mulligan as he circled uh, the blockers. Feisman is minus seven yards for six carries. Yoder's back in kick formation. Casanova and Burns up around midfield. Yoder gets it up and he booms it deep. What a kick, but a flag is down. Casanova's got it at the 35. Casanova hands it off to Burns, and Burns is all the way back here at the 30, trying to get some running room. And he is finally brought down by Mike Creeney on the 36-yard line, but they are going to call a roughing the kicker penalty on Milliken of LSU. Well, they're going to take the ball on the 36-yard line. They are refusing the penalty. The right? penalty, the first down, and the yardage. They are giving it to LSU, the defense. Now, there is a rare thing, Van. The defense believes so thoroughly they can stop LSU. They're willing to give them the ball at the 36-yard line. For LSU, the quarterback is Buddy Lee. And the give now is to the fullback, Cantrell. He breaks right through the middle, comes up to the 50-yard line, all the way into Notre Dame territory on the 49-yard line. It's a first down for LSU. 
That's Cantrell, who's been the leading rusher on the field today. Just moved right straight up the middle on the trap. First and 10 to go for the LSU Tigers with the ball on the Notre Dame 49-yard line. 13 minutes of playing time remaining in the third quarter. 15 carries for Cantrell. He's gained 69 yards. Hamilton is flanked to the right. Kegley is put out to the left in the eye formation. Cantrell is in the top of the eye, and the fullback has got it. That is number 21 in there at fullback. Now Walker, and Walker right straight up the middle to about the 46. He got on the play three yards. It'll be second down and nine right in on the tackle along with uh, Kadish. So mark the ball on the 46-yard line, make it second down and seven yards to go for LSU. Waiting for it now is Buddy Lee, the quarterback. He's going back to throw. He's in a lot of trouble. He's brought down by Niter, back on the 45-yard line. Also in on there, the defensive man in the backfield for Notre Dame coming in was Patton to bring him down. All the way back on the 46-yard line. Let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. High formation in the slot to the right now is Hamilton, the flanker. Quarterback Lee barks the signals, rolls out to the right, looks for a receiver. He gets time. He throws the home run ball. It's incomplete. Down on the 30-yard line, it was intended for Kegley. He was covered over there by Ellis, but it's incomplete, and that'll whistle it right back again into LSU territory on the 45-yard line, where it'll be fourth down for the LSU Tigers, Notre Dame Stadium. We have a scoreless ball game in the third quarter, and back in kick formation is Dickinson, his eighth punt of the day, and he gets it away. Spiral, a low one coming down to Crotty at the 20. Crotty is at the 25. Crotty is at the 30. And is brought down on the 30-yard line, and Kegley is the man who made the tackle a 34-yard kick. First down and 10 to go for Notre Dame. They have the ball now on their own 29 and a half yard line. And listen to this crowd now at South Bend. Joe Theismann is the quarterback. Novikov is the center. Carson Humber to the guards. Martin and Dampier the tackles. It's the power eye formation with Gatewood to the left. The give is to Goulias. Goulias gets a block, but he's going to be dropped at the 31 yard line. He got just about a yard. That's all. In there making the tackle was Mike Doyle, the defensive left end, and Mike Anderson, who is the linebacker on the left side for LSU. And Gatewood is out to the right. Denny Allen is in there in the slot to the right. It's a double wing formation. Bars is a setback. Beisman is going back to throw. Beisman looks. He is dunked on the 21-yard line and sailing in there that time for LSU was King. Bobby Joe King from Shreveport, Louisiana, and he really came flying through. I'll say he did. He came over the top of Theismann there and just buried him with a tackle. Well, it's third down and 17 yards to go, and Allen to the right. To the left is Mike Creaney. Joe Theismann goes back straight up, looking. He's looking. He's trapped back there. He breaks out of it. He's looking for a receiver. He's hit. He fumbles the football. It's loose. It's covered by Notre Dame. It's covered by Tom Gatewood, and three LSU players had a shot at that football, and Tom Gatewood somehow got in the middle of him and came up with the ball. Boy, how he pulled that one out, I'll never know, because the ball was bouncing free. Three LSU men took dives at it, touched the football, couldn't hold on to it. The ball is down at the 28-yard line. It'll be fourth and 12, and Notre Dame goes into punt formation. And Jim Yoder has to kick against the wind again. Casanova's deep with Burns, no score in this ball game, and here's the boot now, it's off the side of his foot, and it hits around on the 45, and Notre Dame finally stops the ball around the 49-yard line, a short kick on the part of Jim Yoder, that's his first four kick, only 29 yards, but he's kicking against that wind, he was trying to keep it low to get the distance, ball is marked on the 49-yard line, it took an LSU bounce, it'll be first and 10 for the Bayou Tigers from that point. They're in the eye formation. And the linebacker's dropping off now to cover Hamilton. The give is to the running back, Cantrell, straight up the middle on the trap. He goes down to the 47-yard line, and Mike Kadish brings him down for Notre Dame, along with Greg Marks. So mark that ball on the 48-yard line. Give him three yards gain. Make it second down and seven yards to go for LSU. They are in Notre Dame territory. Power eye formation. Notre Dame with that secondary in tight, right behind the line of scrimmage. And Lee on a pitch back now to Power. He's being chased out there by Petruski. Petruski brings him down on the 44-yard line as he tried to sweep 
the right side on the pitch back to the flanker. That's five yards at least that he's dumped him for. It's his second time today. Potulski has thrown the runner for big losses. 6'6", 260 pounds. May be on his way, should be on his way to being All-American again. That's the tenth man to carry the ball for LSU today. Wide to the left is Powers. They're in a double wing formation. Here's Lee going back to throw. Lee gets a lot of time this time. He Now he's in trouble. And he's brought down back on the 37-yard line. Red Marks is the man who brought him down for Notre Dame. It's brought down for LSU. Let's go down to Bill now and find out a few things. And the reason that the Irish went for the long, beautiful punt by Yoder and the tackle, which resulted in a tremendous defensive gain, was that although it was a roughing the kicker penalty, it was fourth and 22. If they had taken the 15-yard penalty for roughing the kicker, they still would not have had a first down. That is why they took the long punt by Yoder. It's a first down only in the pros. Up to you. Here we go, and here's the boot. By Dickinson, waiting for it is Ellis. Ellis trying to get some blockers. He's at the 25, and that's it. He's hauled down. As, as Bill explained, it is not an automatic first down in college football. And that's the reason they turned the penalty down. Now, of course, it would still have been the fourth down. He would have an opportunity to kick it but 15 yards up the field further because it was fourth and 22. Now Theismann is going back to throw from a double wing. It's intercepted by LSU, and then let's see if it isn't dropped. Let's see what they're going to call it. Coming up with it is Bill Bars, an LSU man knocked it down, and they may rule that Bars caught the ball, taking it away from the LSU defender, and that's what they're going to rule. they hold it. So it's ruled just an incomplete pass on both sides. It'll be second down and 10 to go. Gatewood is flanked to the right. Goulias is put out to the left. Seven minutes and ten seconds to play in the third quarter. No score. Beisman now pitches it back to Denny Allen. Allen can't find any running room. He's brought down on the 25-yard line by Mike Doyle. No running room there on that pitch to the left. Six minutes and 50 seconds of playing time remaining. It's still LSU nothing and Notre Dame nothing. Denny Allen is flanked out wide to the right. Tom Gatewood a few yards to the left. Creedy to the right in the I formation as Theismann barks out the signal. Theismann takes it. Theismann is going back to throw. He looks now. He's in a little trouble and he tries to run out of it. He is brought down out there, but the whistle is blown. There's a wild scramble for the football. King hit him again. They're not being, they are not able to contain Bobby Joe King, who did not even start the ball game. Notre Dame, Van, believe it or not, has only 17 yards rushing at this point in the game. And they lead the nation in overall offense. But they have not been able to get that offense going today against LSU. Yoder's back in kick formation. Now is the time he needs to get the long one. And he's kicking against the wind, and he boots it deep. It's all the way down here to the 28-yard line. It's taken by Burns. Burns gets a block. Goes wide and is hit from behind on the 35-yard line. A 50-yard kick against the wind by Jim Yoder. So it's marked on the 35-yard line of LSU. It's first down and 10 to go for the Tigers. Five minutes and 38 seconds of playing time remaining in the third quarter. There have been 17 punts in this game today. Next week we'll be out in Los Angeles. It'll be Southern California and Notre Dame. And now Kegley is flanked out to the right. He's the only flanker. They're in the eye formation. Waiting for it is Buddy Lee, who's the quarterback for LSU. He pitches it back now to his halfback, and he fires down the middle. It's intercepted by Notre Dame. Lyons is in there, and it's intercepted by Notre Dame's Jim Wright, who picked it off. And now Notre Dame has the football. And their second pass interception of the day. They have it on their own 48-yard line. LSU has a great defense. The Irish defensive unit is playing as magnificent a game. Holy Cross in the first quarter leads Connecticut 14-7. Iowa leads Illinois 7-0 first quarter. At halftime, Citadel leads Davidson 17-3. That was Lyons who threw that ball, as we called, on the pitch back there from Lee, but intercepted. And Feisman now is going back to throw for Notre Dame, and he fires one out here incomplete to Denny Allen. And right through the fingertips there, the defensive back to Q of LSU. He had a shot at the ball, but he couldn't reach it. 
That stops the clock as they move it back to the 48-yard line again. It's in Notre Dame territory. It belongs to the Fighting Irish. They have it second down and 10 to go. They've got good field position. Back goes Theismann to throw again, and he fires over the middle to Creeney. It's incomplete. It was broken up there by the defensive back, Mike Anderson, a linebacker on the left side of LSU intended for the tight end, Creeney. Theismann sends Denny Allen wide to the right. Goulias is put out to the left, and Feisman is going back to throw again. And he fires. It's completed out there on the sidelines to Goulias. At the 44-yard line, he is knocked out of bounds immediately. And knocking him out of bounds was early. And now then, let's take a look at the situation. It's fourth down and three, and Aeropar Segan is coming in with his kicker, Jim Yoder. He's going to play for the breaks, and this game, Van, may be decided by just that, a break or two. Buch is over the ball, perfect pass back to Yoder. Yoder booms it deep again. This one, it looks like it's going to hit in the end zone, and it does. There's a timeout on the field with a score, LSU nothing, Notre Dame nothing. Here's a handoff this time to Danton again. He's off right tackle to the 40. Uh, Jones is back in there at quarterback for LSU. Move that ball for nine yards to the 40-yard line of LSU, where it is now second down and one yard to go. Ball is resting on the 40-yard line of the Tigers. They send uh, Hamilton out wide to the left in this eye formation, the power eye. Waiting for it now is Jones, who's in at quarterback. The quarterback sneak, and he's got the first down, I believe. Greg Marks in there to shove him back, but he made the first down. He got the ball to the 43, and that's nine first downs. Notre Dame has eight. They got a marked up ball on the 43-yard line, where it'll be first down and ten to go for the LSU Tigers. We appreciate the many wires here in our booth. Jack Robinson of Garden City, New York. Waiting for it now is the quarterback, Jones. In the eye formation now with a slot man to the right, and the give is to the fullback, Danton, and Danton is across the 45 to the 46-yard line and is brought down there. On a bop, with a market at the 47, he was hit by Katie, and also it's a gain on the play to the 47-yard line, which makes it second down, coming up in about six yards to go. Two flankers to the left, Hamilton and Kegley, and the give again to Danton, and Danton clacks into that Notre Dame line, just fighting his way forward. He might have a first down for the Tigers. He's going to be mighty close. Stepaniak finally wrestled him to the turf. They're taking a look over the chain. They're going to bring the chain out for a measure. Danton, in carrying today, has carried nine times for 44 yards, and he's a hard running back. He's only about 5'11". Weighs about 185 pounds. You'll hear a tremendous roar from the Tiger fans if he got it, but he did not get it. A power eye formation with one flanker, Hamilton out to the right. Calling the signals, Jones, he keeps the ball on the quarterback sneak to the 45-yard line and gets a first down for LSU. Stopped by the middle of that Notre Dame line. Katie hit him first. But now the Tigers are really fired up. They have that ball on the Notre Dame 45-yard line. They send Hamilton and Kegley to the left, their flankers. In the eye formation, and Jones, Bart Jones is the quarterback. He's got two setbacks now in the pro set, and he gives it off to his running back again. Binglis, the fullback, and Binglis is pulled down for a loss. Back on about the 47-yard line. Greg Marks, who had gone out, is coming back in defensively. Petrucci is the man who made the tackle for Notre Dame. Tackle. Kegley is flanked wide to the left. In the slot to the left is Hamilton. It's the eye formation. Waiting for it now is Jones, the quarterback, and he's rolling out to the left. He's looking for a receiver. He throws it caught on the 35-yard line by Kegley. And it's a first down for LSU. Then they caught the, the Irish blitzing there. They had six men up on that line there. And the outside linebacker, Rick Coleman, even was blitzing along with uh, Eric Patton in the middle. It's first down LSU at Notre Dame's 35. And the Tigers are really on the prowl now. They have Hamilton to the right, Kegley to the left in the I formation. And here's the give to the fullback again. Bendless up the middle. 
He gets about three, and Jim Wright makes the tackle for Notre Dame. He's right in the bottom of the pile. They'll mark that ball on the 33-yard line, a gain of two yards on the play. Second down and eight yards to go. One minute, 20 seconds to play in the third quarter. Kegley is out wide to the right. Hamilton in the slot to the right. In the eye formation with Jones calling the signals again. He's the second quarterback to be used by LSU. Jones is rolling out to White. He cocks his arm. He throws one. It is batted away. Or not quite. Crotty was up there, but he was out of bounds. He just started to reach for it. Saw that the ball was going to be on the head of everybody. Didn't take any chance of being called for interference and let it sail. This is the 11th play in this drive for LSU, which is the longest sustained drive of the day from the standpoint of plays. And Jones is hit way back on the 42-yard line by Patulski again. And I can't say enough about the defensive job that Walt Patulski has done today for Notre Dame. He's from Liverpool, New York, and what a day he's had. That's the third time that he has thrown a runner for a loss. But I've got to say this about Jones. Jones took the snap, turned around, bumped into his halfback. Apparently the signals were blown on that play, Van, putting it back to the Notre Dame 41-yard line and uh, LSU in punt formation. I pass from center, but Dickinson gets it away, booms it deep. Notre Dame lets it go, and it bounces into the end zone. It'll be brought back out to 20. All right, Notre Dame will have the football. First down and 10 to go from their own 20-yard line. They have 16 seconds to play in the third quarter, that's all. Now Larry Parker is in there and deployed out wide to the left. Denny Allen and Bars and the give is to Allen. Allen trying to go wide. He's hit at the 21-yard line. Time is moving. Early made the tackle for LSU. And Notre Dame has really found the rushing rough out here, as many other clubs have this season. As LSU has not given up a touchdown in 11 games. That's the gun, the end of the third quarter, with a score of LSU, nothing, Notre Dame, nothing. And the Irish with the ball on their own, 21-yard line. Joe Feisman on the draw play to Denny Allen, and Allen is dropped right at the line of scrimmage. LSU had that one figured out perfectly. Milliken, the right end, came pinching in and brought him down on the 21. Minix is in there for Notre Dame, flanked out to the left. Feisman is rolling out to the left. Looking for a receiver. He's hit as he lets it go, and it was intercepted by LSU. It's intercepted by LSU's Norsworthy on the 33-yard line. LSU has a big break. They have the pinball on the Notre Dame 34-yard line. Then here are the statistics on the first three quarters. In first downs, Notre Dame 8, LSU 11. In yards rushing, Notre Dame 18, LSU 86. Yards passing, Notre Dame 129, LSU 80 yards total. Notre Dame has had three turnovers today, two fumbles and one interception. LSU's ball in the give now is that hard-running halfback, Cantrell, who's bumped at the 30-yard line. He got four yards on the play. Kadish in on the tackle for Notre Dame. The linebacker, Tim Kelly, also in on the tackle. It'll be marked on the 29-yard line again on the play of five. With 14 minutes to go in this ball game, it's LSU nothing and Notre Dame nothing. Two flankers to the left. The quarterback is Buddy Lee again. Lee directing the LSU attack. I formation gives it to Cantrell. Cantrell dives over the line. Down to the 25-yard line where it will be third down and one yard to go. Neider is the man who made the tackle for Notre Dame on the 25-yard line. A pass interception has given LSU the football. And LSU now. Cantrell in there with 18 carries, and he has 81 yards gained today. He's been the leading rusher in the ball game. Al Coffey is flanked out wide to the left. It's the power eye formation. And the ball is given to Cantrell again, and Cantrell hits down to the 24. I believe he got the first down. He is stopped on about the 24-yard line. Patulski's on the bottom of the pile. They may bring the chain in, but it looks like a first down from here, Al. And it does look like the first down, although they're bringing the chains in. First down, LSU, the eye formation. And here's the give to Cantrell. He dives into that line, gets to the 21. He takes about two steps into the line and then leaps in the air like a gazelle and falls forward for two and three yards on every carry. The leading rusher on the ball club, and he moved at that time four yards to the 20. Out of the huddle they come of Hamilton, flanked out wide to the right. And Coffey is deployed to the left. Going back is the quarterback, Lee, to throw. He dumps one out in the left flat. It's completed at the 20-yard line to Cantrell. 
He is knocked out of bounds by number 45, Patton of Notre Dame. He knocked him out on about the 18 or 19-yard line. That was the first time that we've seen LSU go to a screen to the left. It was a short screen to the left. Ready to go now. It's LSU's ball, third down and five from the 19-yard line of Notre Dame. And Buddy Lee is calling the signals, and Lee on a pitch back now to Cantrell, who's running wide. He cuts in, and he's thrown down and out of bounds by Ellis. He's thrown out of bounds by Ellis on about the 17-yard line, which will bring up a fourth down for LSU, and we'll get the kicker in here. These three points look bigger, I think, than almost the moon at the moment in this scoreless battle between two great football teams this afternoon, Notre Dame and LSU. The ball will be placed down. The holder will hold it at about the 24. Here's the kick. It's blocked by Notre Dame. It's blocked by the Irish, and Fonny has the ball and runs it back to the 12-yard line. It was blocked by Notre Dame. That forward well was crashing in there to block it. Greg Marks, one of the leaders in there to block it for them. And so Notre Dame has stopped the LSU threat again. And Notre Dame will take over. On their own 11-yard line, they have it first down and 10 to go. So now Novikov leads them out with Humbert and Koss at the guards. Dampier and Martin at the tackle. Signals are being called by Joe Theismann, the eye formation. And Theismann rolling out to the right. He's going to run with the football. He stopped, reverses his field, picks up a block. He's at the 20-yard line. He pulled down on the 21-yard line. Joe Theismann pulled down on the 21. He started at the 11 and ran it back to the 21, and Craig Burns is the man who brought him down. They may have to bring the chain all the way over. It's second down and about a half a yard to go, 11 and a half minutes of playing time remaining. The clock was moving while they were making the decision. Joe Theismann trying to pull his team out of trouble. They're tied nothing and nothing with LSU. Waiting for it is Theismann in a double wing formation now. Theismann ought to give to his fullback, Bill Bars. And Bars is trapped at the 23 and brought down. He got a first down for Notre Dame on the 23-yard line. And let's pause briefly for station identification. The Premio is in there to guard now for Notre Dame. Waiting for it is Theismann, and Theismann gives it off to Allen. Allen gets a block, comes up to the 26-yard line on the counter play. And John Sage made the tackle there, along with the defensive back, Cassio, the middle backer, on the 26-yard line, a gain of three yards on the play. It'll be second down and seven to go. Out of the huddle they come. They split Minnix out to the left. He's the only flanker. Now Denny Allen is flanked out a few yards to the right in the double wing formation. And Joe Feisman is backing straight up the throw, and Feisman is cut back on the 16-yard line by Este, who went barreling in there for LSU. Este took uh, DePremio completely out on the play and made a great rush on him. He got a jump on the ball, and this big boy from La Rose, Louisiana, was in that backfield, and on quarterback Joe Theismann as quick as a cat. Notre Dame with a third down at their own 18. And 16 to go. Creeny to the left. Theismann going back to throw again, staying in the pocket. Looking for a receiver, he throws one. It is broken up by LSU's major. And a flag is down. Creamy was the intended receiver, and interference has been called against LSU. Bill Norsworthy is the man who did it. It was called against Norsworthy. Actually, the completion and the ball down at the Notre Dame 34-yard line. The tip end of that ball about a half yard away from the 35. First down for the Irish there. A big break, and it should liven them up. Tom Gatewood is flanked out wide to the right. Waiting for it is Theismann. Pitches it back now to Minix. Trying to turn the corner, and Minix is gang tackled on the 36 by Sage. And teammates of LSU. Cassio was in there. Este was in there. And Anderson in there. And they mark the ball on the 36-yard line. It will be a gain of two yards on the play. Second down and eight to go. Theismann back to throw again. He throws it to Creamy at the 40, 45. Creamy's at the 48-yard line. First down for Notre Dame. He's brought down by Norsworthy and Anderson on the 48-yard line. And the fighting Irish with the clock now, 8.51 to go. Have the ball on their own 48-yard line, and they have it first down and 10 to go. 
Two tight ends in there now for Notre Dame. Tereshuk and Creeney are both in there. Ball on the 48-yard line. Out wide to the right. Creeney's out, so Tereshuk replaced him. Here's the give now in the quick opener to Minix. Running right through the middle to the 47-yard line. He's pulled down on the 47, but he got about five yards before they hauled him down. Oh, brother, did Denny DePremio and Dan Novikov open the way. They took, they took the middle of the, the LSU defensive line for a ride on that for five yards as they just led the charge right up the middle. Second down and five yards to go. The power eye formation. Feisman gives it to Minnick. Same play. He's at the 44-yard line with it. Let's go down to Bill to get an injury report. Ben Creedy came off the field replaced by Tara Shaw. Creedy had a muscle spasm in his calf. It's third down and two yards to go for Notre Dame. They have the ball on the 44-yard line of LSU. It's the power eye formation. And it is Minix. Minix off right tackle down to the 43. He is a yard short of a first down. Now, what will the situation be? Fourth down and a yard to go. It's Notre Dame's ball. There's no score in the game. And Jim Yoder is coming in for Notre Dame. Yoder with the wind at his back is standing on the 42. Perfect pass from Butchus. He gets his kick away. And that ball is angling for the sideline. And goes out of bounds on the one-yard line. There's a timeout on the field with a score LSU nothing, Notre Dame nothing. LSU with the ball at the one-yard line after that great kick by Jim Yoder. Notre Dame digs in now as they try the quarterback sneak and stop him on about the two. Burt Jones is in there at the quarterback. And Jones is stacked up on about the two. Yoder's toe put it out of bounds on the one. Six minutes and 35 seconds of playing time remaining. That's all. It's LSU nothing and Notre Dame nothing. And now Hamilton is flanked out wide to the right. Jones is the quarterback for LSU. Charlie McClendon alternating those quarterbacks and the give in there is to the halfback. And Danton tries. Left guard gets to about the four-yard line, and he's stacked up right on the four. Danton is injured, Van. He is hobbling to the sidelines out of that backfield of LSU. Cantrell has replaced him. Jones calling the signals. They're digging in now, the defensive unit. Cantrell has got it, but he's going to be stopped on the six. Fourth down for LSU. Petruski was the man who led the defensive charge again for Notre Dame. It's Notre Dame nothing, it's LSU nothing. We've got five minutes and 20 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. And it's fourth down for LSU, and the kicker is in there. Dickinson is in there, and Ellis is fading back with Mike Crotty. And they hope to feel this one and run it back. It was Jim Yoder's great kick, 42 yards, out of bounds on the one-yard line that forced LSU into this situation. And the kick is away. It's almost blocked. And it's bouncing around on the 40. It's taken by Ellis. He's at the 40, down to the 37, the 36, and tackled on the 36-yard line. Now Notre Dame has the football on the LSU 36-yard line. They have it first down and 10 to go. The LSU defensive unit leading the nation in rushing defense. Regrouping right now as Notre Dame sends Joe Feisman into that backfield now to call the signals. Here's Goulias coming out on the ball on the 36-yard line of LSU. Goulias flanked out to the left, waiting for it is Feisman. Feisman spins around and throws, and it is incomplete. was the intended receiver. He just knocked him down. Jim Early was on his back, Van. That's unfortunate. Early went after the ball, and he tried. Uh, Goodius had him beat to the inside. Jim Early was just after the football. Couldn't help it. Hit his man from behind. Gatewood is flanked to the left. Goodius to the right. Feisman now keeping the ball, running around the right side. Gives the hip to a defensive back. He's down to about the 13-yard line, and he's out of bounds. After picking up four yards, on a sweep of the right side. He has no intention of letting that ball go. Ball on the 13-yard line of LSU. It's Notre Dame's ball. It's second down, about five and a half yards to go, and the give now is to Billy Allen. Allen's down to the 10, fights his way down to the 9. He's hauled down on the 9-yard line. The linebackers moving up in there, Anderson leading the defense of LSU. The ball is on the 9-yard line. It's third down and two yards to go. No score with four minutes and 20 seconds of playing time remaining. Notre Dame trying to pull it out here in the fading minutes. 
at South Bend, Indiana. Gatewood goes out wide to the right. Here's the power eye formation. Joe Theismann calling the signal. Theismann on a give to Goulias. Goulias powers his way down to the seven-yard line. He might have a first down. And the Notre Dame fans now holding their breath. And the official says, first down, Notre Dame. On the seven-yard line, that's their 12th first down. LSU has 12 first downs. First down and goal to go on the LSU seven-yard line. They were aided and abetted by that pass interference call. Gatewood is flanked out to the left. In the power eye formation again. Waiting for it is Theismann, and Theismann gives it off now to Jimmy Allen. Allen on the sweep, he cuts back. He's down to the six-yard line. He got one yard on the play, that's all. That LSU defense that has not allowed a touchdown rushing hauled him down on the six-yard line. Out of the huddle they come. Gatewood is out to the right. It is second down coming up in seven yards to go. Theismann now is moving one of his backs. Goulias, he's going to have to hurry. He's taking a lot of time. Theismann is rolling out to the right. He's looking for a receiver. He throws in the end zone to Gatewood and throws it too low. He threw it too low. Gatewood doubled back on his defender. Craig Burns was a man-on-man -man with Gatewood there. Gatewood just stopped cold, doubled back, was in the open. Theismann threw, but he threw on the run off balance, and it was short, down into the dirt. Third down and seven yards to go. Theismann out to the right. He's looking for a receiver. He throws into the end zone. It is batted down by Tony Casanova, who was right in front of Tom Gatewood, had him covered like a blanket, and the kick team will come in for Notre Dame. And the attempt will be made from the 14, which would be a 24-yard kick. It's an angle to the right. Joe Theismann will hold. And we're waiting. The ball is spotted. The kick is up. The kick is good. And the score is Notre Dame 3, LSU nothing. We'll be back to the Notre Dame kickoff in just a minute. Now Smith will kick off for Notre Dame. The soccer-style kicker booms it deep down to... The goal line, it's taken down there by Ledoux. Ledoux is back to the 10, the 15. He's back to the 18-yard line, and he's game tackled by Notre Dame. Down on the 18-yard line, Mizoraka is the man who hit him first, and so LSU will take over. The clock is at 2.47 to go. And the ball is marked on the 18-yard line of LSU. It belongs to the Tigers, and now the Notre Dame defense will have to dig in. They have LSU 3-0. Here's the eye formation, and the quarterback in there now is Jones. Burt Jones is the quarterback in this eye formation with two flankers to the left. Jones is rolling out the left. He's looking for a pass receiver. He throws the home run ball downfield. It is tackled by Ellis, right out of the hands of Al Coffey, who was behind him and all the way down to the 25-yard line, and he batted it down. But he had to make a tremendous jump on a well-thrown football to knock it away from the intended receiver. Second down, LSU at their 19-yard line. Van Patrick along with Al Wester and Bill Etherton from South Bend, Indiana. We hope you're enjoying all the excitement from South Bend. Second and 10, Jones is back to throw again. He gets time, he fires one, it's almost intercepted. Almost intercepted by Notre Dame. And that was Coleman who had his hands on the ball. And so now they'll bring the ball back to the 18-yard line again, where it'll be third down and 10, but these incomplete passes are stopping the clock with two minutes and 33 seconds of playing time remaining. Petulski is coming out. He's been replaced by Swenson, and what a game he has played. He may be injured. We'll get Bill to check on him. Here's the eye formation. Waiting for it is Jones. He's going back to throw again. He looks downfield. He gets time, and it's incomplete. Intended out there to Hamilton, the left flat. Incomplete. It is fourth down for LSU. Let's go to Bill. But not one of the 60,000 fans have left this stadium today in there to do the kicking. We have a kicker in here now for LSU. Dickinson is coming in on the fourth down, gets a pass from center, gets a foot into it, booms it upfield. Notre Dame just lets it go. It bounces around, finally rolls to a stop on the 36-yard line, and there's a timeout on the field with a score of Notre Dame 3, LSU nothing. Keeper swings out to the left and is brought down on about the 38 or 39-yard line. He got a couple of yards on the play. They'll mark it on the 39-yard line of Notre Dame. It belongs to the Fighting Irish with two minutes exactly of playing time remaining. Second down and eight yards to go. They've done. One of the Notre Dame linemen move. That's Koss, the guard. Second down and 13 yards to go. <clears throat> now, you've got to remember this. 
Notre Dame's got to try to move that ball, not give LSU the opportunity to go for the three. Here's a pass to Allen, completed at the 42-yard line. And he's hit down on the 42-yard line. LSU, one minute, 46 seconds to go, and Notre Dame with the ball on the 41-and-a-half-yard line, third five, there's a timeout to the score, Notre Dame three, LSU nothing. All right, Al, it's third down and five yards to go for Notre Dame from their own 41, and Feisman rolling out to the left. He's going to run with the ball. He's at the 45, he's at the 50, he's at the 45, he's at the 40, the 35. Feisman is brought down all the way down on the 32-yard line by Johnny Nagel, who was the only man who could get to him and brought him down. And little Joe Feisman is making a bid for the Heisman Trophy. He's trying to save it for his club club today. He covered himself and ran it for a first down to the LSU 32. 26 yards he gained on the play. He rolled into the middle there. He sidestepped two men. He broke, and one man stood between Feisman and the goal line. ROI formation, Gatewood to the right. It is Goulias with the ball, and Goulias has stopped it to 31. He got one yard on the play. One minute and five seconds of playing time remaining in the ball game. On the clock is a big factor. It's second down, nine yards to go for Notre Dame. Out of the huddle they come. They send Gatewood out to the left. Goulias is flanked out to the right. Feisman calling the signals now. Feisman takes it, gives it off to Denny Allen. Allen is going wide. He's at the 30. He's down to the 28-yard line. Pull down on the 28. The clock continues to move. And I can tell you right now, Notre Dame will be happy to walk off the field with a three-point victory today. Timeout has been called, so there's a timeout on the field with a score. Notre Dame three, LSU nothing. They're out of the huddle now with Goulias moving over to the right side. Tom Gatewood is deployed to the left in the I formation. Joe Theismann calling the signals. Theismann is rolling out to the left. He's going to run with that ball again. He gets a block. He stopped though right on the 29-yard line. The clock continues to go. 24 seconds of playing time remaining. Clock moving. 20, 19, 18. We're beginning to count off the seconds here at Notre Dame Stadium with a fighting Irish leading by a score of 3 to nothing. LSU again stops the clock. Well, I imagine he'd like to move it around a little bit here, and he hands it off to Denny Allen. Allen going wide is at the 31 and is pulled out. On the 31-yard line, the clock moving eight seconds, and the clock stops right there with eight seconds. There's a youngster out on the field, and they're chasing him off. Usually it's a puppy dog, but now they got a little red-headed youngster right out on the field in the middle of everybody. Eight seconds to go. It's LSU's ball. On the 31-yard line of LSU, the quarterback is Jones. Signals are being called by Jones, and he is going back to throw that football. He is looking. He is hit back there on the back to the 15-yard line and held down by Swinson. And the ball game is over. Uh, Notre Dame has defeated LSU 3 to nothing in a thriller here at South Bend, Indiana. Final score is Notre Dame 3, LSU nothing. We'll be back in a moment with the wrap-up of today's game. That is truly one of the great epic battles that I have seen in the last 10 years, LSU and Notre Dame. The LSU football team turning in a fabulous job. In first downs, unofficial returns, Notre Dame 13, LSU 12. 98 yards rushing for Notre Dame, 72 for LSU. 82 yards passing for Notre Dame. Well, let's check that. These are reversed. 72 yards rushing for Notre Dame. 98 for LSU. 144 yards passing for Notre Dame. 82 for LSU. Notre Dame completing 14 of 30. LSU 6 of 16. Two fumbles and two interceptions picked off by LSU. 3-0, Notre Dame the winner. <laughs> 